friends, welcome back to the sawmill. Hope everybody's having a good week. We're having a very good week here at the sawmill. We've got some new tools for the tractor. I showed that in the last video. Here's and uh, gosh, it's January the 15th. This month is flying by. Right now, according to the Weather Channel, it is 63 degrees right here in Northeast Tennessee. That is extremely warm for this time of year. We'll take it, guys. If we could just get some of this rain to stop. It's rained so much here lately. It's like a big swamp up here. Need some dry weather to get rid of some of this moisture. Another reminder, guys, February the 1st, it'll be here before you know it. That's the first Saturday of February, 8 a.m. Woodmiser Open House at the North Carolina location. I looked up the address. It's down in the video description, so check it out if you live close to Charlotte. And come on by and say hello. I'll be there at 8 o'clock that morning. I'll stay to the last person leaves. So it's usually about a four or six hour event is what I've been told. And Joe's going to have his sawmills lined up out there. They'll be sawing lumber. There'll be a lot of good stuff going on. I look forward to meeting you people. So if you live close to Charlotte, come on over and say hello. Mama Cat's here. Let me pause for just a second. There she goes. Hey, Mama. Mama. She loves coming up here whenever we're sawmilling. Give you guys another quick update here. Look over the mess. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. Here's the lumber rack. I've not got this secured yet. It's just kind of hanging out up there. I've not bolted it down. I came out here last night when I got back from Knoxville, picking up that attachment and did a little work on it. Got the first frame up here on the cart. So it's going pretty good. I need to run to Lowe's and get a few more two by fours and make another frame to mount right there then we'll have some shelves in this area and plywood storage as well. Then on the front of it, I'm gonna put some, there's the cat knocking stuff over. And on the front of it, we're gonna put some little bins on the front for cut off pieces and three and four foot long pieces of wood. And probably some shelf brackets right here on this top for some more storage. So it's coming along slowly but surely. Just need to, uh, Get some more two befores, another sheet of plywood, and we'll finish this up and paint it and put the wood on it. All right, friends, we made one cut on the sawmill two days ago, and I opened up the top of this white pine to see what was going on. And right here, we have a little bit of what you would call crotch figure going on. It's not real uh, appealing as walnut would be, or maple, or cherry, or anything like that, because it's pine. I think the color of the wood is one of the main reasons. It just doesn't show up like the other uh, hardwoods do. But it's not too bad. Got a little uh, defect right there in the middle. So what I'm probably gonna do is flip this thing over 180 degrees, make another flat cut, and we'll probably go ahead and just square up this timber. We'll get rid of this bark here on the side and the other side. Got some blue pine right there on that side. That's nice. So we'll make a square cant set this for five quarter boards and start cutting and the deeper we get right there we may have some nice figure come up who knows if it's really nice we can use that for the uh, panels on the cabinets i'm going to build at this pine that would look really nice one more thing guys before we crank up the sawmill i want to say thank you to you people on patreon for supporting us here on the channel and if you're interested in Patreon, you can give a dollar a month or five dollars a month. I actually had a glitch over there and you couldn't do the a dollar a month without going in there and manually doing it. Now I have a tier set up for a dollar a month. So you can go in there and it's a lot easier now to set that up. And the benefits of Patreon, I'm putting these videos on there starting now, 24 hours in advance before they go on YouTube. I was doing about eight or 12 hours in advance. Now we're gonna do 24 hours in advance. That just gives me a chance to catch up on comments messages and also uh, editing editing takes so long anymore the process of editing these videos just takes a long time so you get to see these videos 24 hours before the rest of the world sees it and you also get my email address and you're able to message me on there and contact me with sawmill questions or woodworking questions and if i don't have the answer i know where i can find the answer so uh, if you're interested in that check it out there's a lot of benefits to that if you run a sawmill, I can help you guys out and uh, hopefully make you more productive. So let's crank up the diesel, guys, and get going.
friends, we got the log squared up. It's going pretty good. I'm not really sure what's going to be hiding at the far end down here. I don't know if there's going to be a nice crotch figure or what. Let me show you what we got to work with. So here's the far end. Hopefully the crotch figure will be hiding down in here. Who knows on that? Pretty nasty here on top. I got a large void coming down through here. Have no idea how deep that goes. And some pine pitch coming up through there. Some nasty stuff right there. So here's how it's looking on the end grain. Got one heart right here on the side and the other one just about got totally cut off when I was taking off the trim cuts to get rid of the bark. But right here where they meet in this middle area, may be some crotch figure or it may be a crack coming all the way down. You can see the top. Got that void coming right down through here. You can also see it here on the end grain. So who knows how this is going to turn out do have some nice blue pine showing up right there so this may be a total loss we'll see what happens if this is a large crack that comes all the way down through here what we'll probably do is saw this up throw it through the kiln and come back in here when i start making cabinets and cut it off right here and get rid of this because uh don't want to do bow ties and pine or nothing like that. It's not really desirable. Nor do I want to fool with it. But we'll see what happens here. I may get lucky. And uh, one more thing, guys. I know I'm always saying that. One more thing. One more thing before we get started. At the end of this video, I'm going to show two viewer projects that show some of the wood that I sold here at the sawmill. I've got some quarter sawn white oak in one project, and the other project is some black walnut. And that's something I get in the comments a lot. People are always asking to see finished products. Well, most of the wood that we sell here, I don't know where it goes. It could go to North Carolina, South Carolina. Some of it's in Oregon right now. Uh, some, uh, some of it's headed to Texas in a few months. So I'm not really sure what happens with it or what the finished project ends up being. I don't really tell those people to notify me or send me pictures later on. But I need to start doing that, I guess, because y'all want to see it. So at the end of this video, stay tuned and we'll see some finished projects from some of the wood that I've sold here at the mill. So that'll be at the very end of the video. Stay tuned for that. I really like the board return here on the sawmill. I wouldn't have one without it now that I've got it. But sometimes it doesn't work properly. Sometimes the board will go left or right and you got to reach up there and grab it. And here in about two or three weeks, I got something coming in the mail that I'm going to use to modify this just a little. And it should make this work 100% better. And it works fine now, it's just not really accurate. If I had an off bear reaching up and grabbing the boards, it'd be fine. But when you're sawing by yourself, you know, you got to stop the mill, you got to come up here and grab this into the board to make sure you got it back properly. I'd say seven out of 10 boards come back properly the right way, but three of them. They go sideways on you, you gotta grab them or you'll hit the cable tray or knock the camera over. That's happened twice already. Here in about two or three weeks, I got something coming that should make this a whole lot better.
friends, this pine is getting kind of interesting. I cut off two more boards and this is what we got left now. So check that out. We actually have some decently figured pine in here. I didn't think we'd be getting that today. That is just a giant pitch pocket right there. It's really sticky. When I kiln dry this and I'll set the pitch at about 160 degrees if I can get the kiln that hot. And that should make this pitch right here solid. But right here below it, we have that void. And it keeps on coming, guys. It just comes on down here and it kind of stops right here, halfway down the board. But not too bad. This is nice enough to where I think I will save these ends for the faces of the cabinets. And I'll probably come in here on this void with some epoxy and tin it black and pour down in here to match the pitch right there on the top. But that's not too bad. Some decent figure in there. Really not too bad at all. I'm really surprised how this is looking and the figure on it. That's not too bad for pine. And I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm gonna throw some water on this one just for good measure and see how it looks. Not too bad though. Helper up here today, Mama Cat is back at the mill. All right now, friends, this will be a first for me and probably a first for YouTube. I don't think I've ever seen any other woodworking channels with sawmills pour water on pine before. I've seen them do maple and walnut and everything we do here, but I've never seen any of those channels pour water over pine. So we'll see how this goes. I think it may highlight the details of this figure just a little bit more. See what happens. I'm using my water pitcher today out of my refrigerator because my water bucket apparently got blown off in the storm the other day. That's something else I gotta find. See what we got. Well, from your all's point of view, you can't see nothing. That light's coming down through. Let me turn the camera around. 